Lesson 16. Counting back, subtract up to 5. Congratulations everyone! We are now on week 5 of Maths Term 1. Let's count these blocks. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 blocks. Now, there are 2 stacks of blocks that give us 5. Can you give me a number sentence using subtraction to tell me what do you see here? Great job! 5 minus 2 or 5 subtract 2 will give us 3. What does this mean? This means that 5 take away 2 will give us 3. Use number lines with counters to demonstrate 5 minus 2 is 3. That means we will start at the number 5. Take away 2. And we get the number 3. 5 minus 4 equals to 1. We start at number 5 again. 1, 2, 3, 4. We took away 4 from 5 and now we have the number 1. 5 minus 3 is 2. We start at number 5 and we go back three times. One, two, three. Our answer is now two. Five minus one equals to four. We start at five and we go back one space, which will give us the number four. Draw counters to show the following. 5 take away 3 is... Let's go! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we take away 3. 1, 2, 3. How many are we left with? 1, 2. We are left with 2. That means 5 take away 3 is equal to 2. 5 take away 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now let's take away 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We are left with 1. That means our answer is 1. 5 take away 1 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Take away 1 and we are left with 1, 2, 3, 4. Good job! Okay, so this is a little different to what we have been doing. Give the number sentence for their number line below. We've been drawing number lines according to number sentences. Now we are going to look at the number line to give us our number sentence. If we look carefully, this number line action starts at 3 and ends at 1. What does this mean? We have 3 and we have 1. Hmm. We go back two spaces. So 3 minus 2 equals to 1. 
That is our number sentence. Let's try this again. Here we have one action. Starting at the number four and ending at the number three. We are also going backwards, which means that we are subtracting. We go backwards once, so we have our number one. What is our number sentence? Our number sentence is four minus one is equal to three. Let's do this one more time. Let's do this one more time. We starting at the number five. We're ending at the number two. We're going backwards. That means that we are subtracting. And how many times do we go backwards? We go backwards three times. This means that 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Great job, you guys. See you in our next lesson.